and gentlemen. It's Nero here, and with me is my boy Taylor. Man. We're checking out a cool little shut up. We're checking out a cool little noir game called Inspector Waffles. Man. I just getting into character. No, you're not. As a, as a cat detective, like my little pa. Yeah. So you found this game. Yeah. You told me about it. Yeah, I just found it. It's about like just you know this cat detective in like a world of anthropomorphized animals, like you know cat detective, like police, police dogs, and all that sort of stuff. And I'm not sure about much else other than that because everything else I wanted to be a sort of a surprise. But it's point point and click. I'm guessing with WASD controls. But let's see where it goes from here. What does that mean? Was? Yeah. Yeah, it's just on the keyboard and all that. Ooh. I've been hitting the milk too hard lately. My wife won't call me anymore. See, my, 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 my dogs are getting all antsy because they know I'm, 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 I'm checking out a game about cat detective. Yeah. Wow, that's a busted cat. You got fantastic tits. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat? Yeah, exactly. Midnight in Cat Town, and I'm heading to a new crime scene. Why do I still do this job? <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I, I could be anywhere right now, chilling at the beach, sipping on a pina colada. But no, I'm out here working day and night for this town. My mother, she wanted me out of this life. Quite office job with decent working hours. I should have listened to her. She was right. A cop life is a dangerous one. Oh, a mouse! <laughs> mm, delicious. I'm gonna puke up a pigeon on my commanding officer's desk later. Hey, that just shows it that I really respect him and I want him to eat well. But well, if there's one thing that I lack more than strong milk, it's solving mysteries. And also laying around in sunbeams. Spectre Waffles, I'm seeing looking like a stray cat as usual. God, God Patches, you look pretty fat. My bad, Patches. Really, I, was expecting, I wasn't expecting to be working tonight. Tell me, who's the victim? The name was Floofy, the boss of Box Furnitures. Not THE Box Furnitures. I love their boxes. Don't we all, Waffles? Did he kill himself with that ball of yarn over there? Doubtful, but we can't rule out at the stage that we're waiting for a cat of your talents to sniff out the truth. Uh, I'm, I got a pretty good sniffer. You're giving me too much credit there, Chief, though. Did you see the lady cat at the front gate? No, why? She's a friend of the victim. She went to see him earlier, rang his doorbell. No one answered, but someone jumped over the fence and vanished into the dark. Someone? Hmm. She says she only saw a shadow, but she says whatever it was, it was big. Like, like you know, bigger than bread box. Bigger than a bread box? Oh my god. I can't even fathom that size. Okay, I'll have a look around the house first, and we'll talk to her once we're done here. No problem. Take as long as you need. Small problem, though. The door to the top floor is locked. You mean where all the evidence is? <laughs> problem. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Can't we kick the door down? He's dead. He won't complain. No, not until we have clearance from the higher-ups. If you can find a way to get up there without damaging the property, that'd be great. So I got an adventure game logic it. That's some real bullshit there, Patches. If you can't, don't forget. 
You have a special asset in your pocket. This is a fucking laser pointer. Special asset? Oh, you mean my catnip. Uh, you mean my gun! <laughs> I've, I've told you, I'm trying to get off the stuff. And my gun is just for protecting my stuff. Yes. A brilliant ex-detective who could help you at any moment. I'm not asking for my mother for help, Patches. Yes, she was great, but I don't need her. I can solve this case all by myself. I'm a big cat now. Well, if you change your mind, just check your notepad. She probably left one of her little notes. She used to leave me notes all the time when I'd leave them. Wait, are you my dad? No. <laughs> Told her to do that which anymore. is arguably which is arguably a worse answer than if he said yes. <laughs> I told her to, <laughs> I told her not to do that anymore. Fucking all my superiors and all of them. What's that gonna make how that gonna make me look? Mind you, she never listened to me before either. Anyway, let's try to figure out how to get to the top floor. Gonna solve this case. Okay. Oh. Okay, come on. I thought it was WASD controls. Or maybe I just click. Lucky spotty. This dead cat's the reason why I'm here. Let's see if there's anything in his pockets. A Polaroid picture? A cat at the beach with a red lighthouse behind him. No idea who the cat is. Maybe it's a clue. Ball of wool. Plus we knew how to have fun. I'm not going to play with it. Even when I really want to. And I really fucking want to. Do you think that ever happens on an actual like investigation? <laughs> like a like a cop is that like a drug like a drug kingpin's den and it's like, man, look at this AK cat sitting on his desk. Man, I really want to pick it up, but I know I shouldn't. Yeah, I can't sit you through trash cans. I'm such a cliche. Nothing special inside except for this broken screwdriver, <laughs> except for this clue. <laughs> Why can't you just tell her that that cat with a stupid face? Man. <laughs> Okay, a broken screwdriver, so probably probably, probably who, use that to like get the door open. Yeah, probably to break in. Let's see, is there anything else clickable around here? What well yeah, you forgot that street light. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh that's Maple Tower. Maple is the most luxurious cat in town. He had a tower with his name on it. Clearly a humble cat. I'm being facetious. Yeah. Well, yeah, like the Jagoff that runs Amazon that asks people for money. <laughs> I know, I heard about that. It's just like, what, how could he even possibly think that's okay? To do? I think, I think, I think someone threw threw at my face. They were like, "Hey, man, he donated like twenty five percent of his like uh, of what he makes." And I'm like, "This is his, like, does he get like a trillion dollars or something? He's like a net worth of a trillion dollars. It's like twenty five percent doesn't sound like anything." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Black and white photos of Cat Town from almost a century ago. They were starting to build skyscrapers. The city was booming at this time. I'm wondering these cats would have enjoyed living here today. You know, it was a real crappy th thing for him. Especially just, you know, he gave money after he did, like, the whole... What was... Yeah, what, what sort of the word for it? It wasn't a pledge. It was a yeah, fundraiser for it. I can't open this door. The handle is missing. What's that? It's a doorknob, isn't it? By the way, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the same company where somebody died in one of their warehouses and they said to cover the body. Yeah, yeah, John Oliver like cover, covered that. That's a, boy, that's asking a lot. Covering up a corpse and then asking for donations? That's, man, that, that person must have the biggest balls imaginable. Yeah, well, you had all the money in a space program. There's a sculpture from a long time ago, probably 9th century, south of Do Dojo, if I'm not mistaken. Something dog of just call me Laura Crufts. Nah, I'm just kidding. I okay, know. I know, I know, I know it's a Laura Croft reference, but Crufts? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a cat, man. Don't judge me. <laughs> Try in here. Nice bedroom. Being rich definitely has its perks. Well, what's this picture of? Oh, that's that famous picture. I think it's Andy Warhol, the guy with the apple. I don't think it is Andy Warhol, actually. Yeah. Has its perks. Hmm. It's a skateboard. Oh, I could be the raddest cat cop around. This is a very old skateboard. Be a cool cat. <laughs> I'll be as cool as cool cat. Yeah. 
so moved recently or played with it. One wheel seems to be broken. I'm going to take it. I could find some some use for it later. What hi-fi system? I don't know any of these bands. Maybe I need to get out of my office from time to time. The Son of Man is a 1964 painting by Belgian surrealist painter René Magritte. Oh, okay. And that, that's basically a double parody of it? That's cool. Yeah, well, it's, it's Son of Man if Son of Man was a cat, so I guess it's Son of Cat. Yeah. Oh, Fluff, oh, Fluff was a semi-pro wool ball player in his youth. Wow. That explains the wool ball outside. Interesting. Okay. There's, a, there's a letter inside the cup. My tiger, I can't wait until the next time I hear from you. Tenderly, M. Must Seems be Maple. Maple must have been gay! Seems Fluff we had a lady cat in his life. I should find out who she is. Or who he is, I ain't judging. <laughs> Unless she's the murderer, and then I'm take... totally judging. Can, can you not take the skateboard? No, I took the wheel. I can't be rad cat right now. I got a job to do, Nero. <laughs> I can't be rad cat right now. I got a job to do. Hmm, <laughs> the bathroom. Mm. There's the shit box. Ew. There's the sink. Hairbrush? Let's see. I have no idea how to use this object. It's a hairbrush. <laughs> Le Petit Chaton Persien. A lady's fragrance by Yvette, Yvette Jean Lorraine. That is so cliche. Why would Fluffy have female perfume? Someone else must have left it here. Perhaps it belongs to Fluffy's lover. Oh, it's cool. It writes down all the notes as well. Where's the, uh, okay. the box? I'm not going to check for clues in a litter box. I don't hate myself enough for that. Uh, who am I <laughs> kidding? Just face stuck in it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, no. I'll, I'll go back in. Or you're going to ask. I was going to say, what about that green thing? Ooh, yeah, the green thing's not touchable, but there's a tile here. There's a little hole in this tent. There's something on the other side. Maybe I give it a pull. I had it. It's a dynamite stick! <laughs> oh. Why is there a book in it? Maps? <laughs> uh, Katsakistan? Katsakistan? Katsakistan during the 18th century. Who's interested in books like this? Communists! Can I open it or something? I can't do anything with that book. I like how it's shaped like a loaf of bread as opposed to an actual book. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit too narrow for reading a book. Yeah, I really like the um the feeling that's going on in this game. It feels noir. Yeah, it really does. You just need to kid. Let's see. Yeah, I, I love the music of it. It really just stands out and just gives it gives you that feel immensely. Let's see. I could stand to listen to like a soundtrack about this. Yeah. So top floor clue. Lady perfume in the bedroom. Top floor. It's Ruffles, did you find a way to get to the top floor? <laughs> Please feel free to use me for interrogation practice. Talk to me like you would any other person of interest. Where's the money? <laughs> Where's the money? Slash. <laughs> Slash. Yeah, he just pulled, he just pulled, Pulls out a phone book and just whacks him across the face. <laughs> Where's the money? Oh, God. <laughs> it's in the sink. Oh, it's, it's got an L.A. Noir sort of style to it where you have to use clues to basically prove or disprove what people are saying. Yeah, yeah. My, my, fr my friend Rich just brought that game up and he mentioned where it's like, there should be a game like L.A. Noir, but it should be for Secret Squirrel. <laughs> That'd be cool. That sounds so awesome. Yeah. Let's go, I want to see your talents in action. Okay, I found Lady Perfume in the bathroom. I don't see why I should talk about this. Okay. Try the book. What's this? I find a Polaroid inside Fluffy's pocket. It's unknown cat at the beach with a lighthouse behind him. Do you know who this cat is? No, I'm afraid not. How about this red book? There's no logical reason I should try this. Well, I just wanted to ask. This is a love letter. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Waffles, but I'd prefer if we kept our relationship strictly professional. Didn't you fuck my mom? 
I didn't fuck you. Do you see where there's a difference? <laughs> You're a bastard, Patches. It's not you. It's for Fluffy. I know waffles. You're a great detective, but you're useless at detecting a joke. I hate you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a broken screwdriver. Waffles, it's late. Really don't have time for you to tell me about all the things you found in the trash. I want to get home tonight. I, I, found it. I don't want to be a cop. I just want to go home. I don't care who murdered this guy. <laughs> I'm not sure what to ask. Cat got my tongue. I'll leave now. We're walking in traffic. <laughs> the victim fell from this window. If he hadn't been dead, he would have landed on his path without any trouble. I don't think he killed himself at all. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So can we um can we go into the house and go upstairs? Because it's a three-story house. That would imply there are like three stairs, like yeah. two cases to walk up. Yeah, I was, I was trying to look for that, but it just looks like... What? On the far right, Taylor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I tr tried that. Oh, but I, I think I just got an idea. Like, that door is locked, but maybe it's broken. Oh, no, I, I, I already put it together before you even thought of it. Screwdriver, wheel, doorknob. Yeah. Oh, no, I just put the screwdriver in there. <laughs> Oh no, and then you have oh. to use the wheel. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, this is more, much more logical than that other game we were playing, Night of the Rabbit. Oh, the Night, Night of the Rabbit, where it's like, like, that made sense. It's like, how do I get in this door? Well, we have the shaft, and we have the knob, so if you use that, the wheel, we could combine it, and use that to open the door, yeah, he, go he, over he, Night of the Rabbit. You were supposed to put the rake down and hit the leprechaun in the face. How do you not know this? Yeah, and, and like literally, there's like visual confirmation, just like how this door has the knob and everything on it, and now and now they basically look the same, except for like the screwdriver sticking out. Also, the graphics in here, hundred times like less details. Yeah, every rich guy has his own library, and it doesn't. You think that's true? <laughs> Well, it definitely is sort of a sign of wealth to have, like, a library. Like, I would like sort of a library. Huh, sort of here sign. are a bunch of books I will never read. Basically. And it doesn't even contain a single comic book. Where's the, know that. Where's the porno stash? Gotta find it. What are these orange books? It's an old book collection. I can't read the titles. Damn dyslexia. The dog slang. Dog accents around across the world. It's all about dogs here. Filthy mongrels. Mm -hmm. Classic and popular books written by cats. One of the books is missing. Mm. Books, old brown books. I think the red one with the yellow binding goes into that area. Yeah, I, I would guess it's here. Wow, it's a, wow, it's a world map collection. I never left Cat Town. There's an empty space between the books of this collection. Stick it. I'm wondering what happens if I put this book back in its rightful place. I heard a little click, but nothing else happened. Oh, that one. Oh, I just gotta re see what this is. These books are about evolution. We learned to walk on two paws a long time ago. And then we murdered the humans. Cat Jesus. Hmm. Okay, nothing happened out here. No. It was a click though. Yeah, some sort of that place, something happened. Can you... We went upstairs for that. Can we not go into that one door? No, we. No, it seems like like when you enter it, you instantly go upstairs. It's like it's one of those sort of houses. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, I think we need to find like the other book. This the book is supposed to go right here. So we found the red one easily enough. Do you think his bedroom will have anything? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. I'm in bed. Hmm. That's... Yeah. What about the couch? <laughs> it's a famous painting by Meow Gritty. <laughs> Wait, there's something odd about this. This frame. A hideout. That looks cool. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what a professional officer of the law. Man, yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna make so many hideouts in my house. I'm gonna make like 20 of them. 
Okay. I would love it that when, when we live together, if we could have one of those rooms that are actually hidden behind the oh, that, shelf. That would be so freaking cool. Like, I see people make those. Oh, damn, I, I left the room. Like, I see those, and those look just so sweet. Okay. Logical. A secret door. I wish I could afford to have one put in my place, like we were talking about. Why hide access to an entire floor of your home? This case is going to be really interesting. I hope we go in there. It's like a children's oh. body strung up on meat hooks, and it's like, oh, this went. Oh, this went south really bad. I, I don't want this room. A secret office. What was he hiding in here? Hmm. Something's in the plant. Yeah, something's in the plant. That's hair in the plant. Blood here. Obviously, broken glass in the window. So let's get the hair. Well, well, well. This hair doesn't belong to Fluffy. It looks like a dog's hair, but I can't be certain. Well, cats need this for comfort. Most of us want to stay clean and healthy. I just want strong milk. I haven't got time to start a puzzle. <laughs> There's something interesting here and amongst all these papers. Someone's written, I can't keep hiding these two books at a time. I would like a door that I can open electronically, quickly and easily. Can you do that for me? Thanks. Unfortunately, there's no delivery name or date. Or delivery name or address. What about any kind of emails? Yeah. I've seen this broken window from outside. Someone pushed him out of, out of the window. He was stuck in glass. He already did this. They must have been very strong. No disc found. Everything was erased recently. Uh, so, so Fluffy was pushed out. They erased it and just got out of there. Claire, play the loon, the pussy. One of my <laughs> favorites. Too bad I don't know how to play the piano. Yeah, play that funky beat. Do you love my symphony? Hear, hear me out. Yeah. Mozart, Beethoven, morons. That's me. This, Above this all it. that, Inspector Waffles at the very top of that list. Some kind of weird SpongeBob portrait. Oh, you're not gonna check the paintings to see if there's anything behind those? Oh no, I, cl I clicked and there was just nothing. So this is how Fluffy usually got to his office. Oh, wait, where did I come from? Oh, from that light. So this, how? So this is how Fluffy usually got to his office. Do you see that light ray on the side right here? It's basically a door yeah. right, that's thrown that way. So this is how Fluffy usually got to his office. He went to his shit room. <laughs> I was gonna say, he takes a dump and then he goes into his magic room. <laughs> Probably had the killer escape too. I have to tell Patches about this. Check. Check everywhere. There has to be something else we're missing. Uh, not here, not there. Mm. Oh, blood. Blood drops. Fluff was probably dead before falling to the floor. That explains why he didn't fall in his pond. I'm sure he was murdered, but I still don't know the reason. Hmm. Oh, boy. So, do you, so, so the idea is that they murdered him in this room and then threw his body out to make it look like he fell out the window? Yeah. Only single piece of paper left. Mouse tail, stuffed grease sandwich. It's a grocery list. Fluffy's clearly enjoyed good food. But why is there a grocery list bin in this office? Surely this should be in the kitchen. I don't like when I don't understand it. I'm taking it with me. Okay, we got the hair. Grocery list. Okay, let's talk to Patches. Oh, drawers. We have plenty of useless papers. Electricity bills, installation CD, piano lesson, and an insult letter. Wait, what? Someone named Erwin sent this letter a week ago. Obviously, they're not friends. Can I read that? Okay. A handwritten letter I found in Fluffy's office. There's no address. It starts with a long list of insults, mostly bird names. It ends with a signature Erwin. Hmm. Grocery list I found in Fluffy's secret office. Not uncommon expensive products like mouse tails and duck grease. Clearly it wasn't a health nut. Mind you, he's dead, so I guess it doesn't really matter now. Hmm. Okay, this, this seems like we need to go to... Uh, I forgot the chief's name already. Patches. Patches. Yeah, Patches. Seems like we need to ask him about stuff. Waffles, did you find a way to get to the top floor? I did, through the shit room. <laughs> Please feel free to use my ventilation practice to start. Oh, uh, no, no, we don't need that. Yeah, we... Okay. 
Try, try the clues. I'll do a secret off in the Fluffy's hat. I found a secret off in the top floor, Chief. There's a lot of blood, too. We need to get forensics up there. Do you think the murderer knew about the office? Could he have gotten in our, our zone? How do you know it's a he? No idea if he was invited or if he or if he knew how to get there. Or she. I'm not, I'm not sexist against murderers. Equality, man. Scumbags are scumbags. Looks like this is turning into quite the case, Waffles. <laughs> yes, Patch, it's, it's going to be a tough one. Try to be a bit more optimistic, Waffles. We've solved our first share of tricky cases in the past. Yeah, I, like the time we found out where that mysterious red light came from. Who knew it came from a laser pointer? My God! I don't think the time for optimism is now, Chief. There's a dead body five feet away from us, like right there. It's it's really stinky. <laughs> it's really stinky. <laughs> yes, I'm second thought you're right. It is stinky. <laughs> It celebrates what you've solved the case. Something salty. Where's the witness, Chief? In front of her house on the street. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go and ask her some questions. Excuse me, man. I need to finish my milkshake first. Isn't that like your eighth milkshake, sir? Shut the hell up! Don't judge me, prick! <laughs> sir, I think you have a problem. Seriously, is this that really an important task, Chief? Really can't think straight until I've had my milkshake. Let me enjoy it. Slowly. Waffles. Patches, you have have a problem. Like I have a milk problem, you have a milkshake problem. We both have problems, man. I think we can help each other. I don't I don't have a problem. I'm addicted to milkshakes. It's not a problem. I'm aware of what I do. <laughs> don't you go ruining it like you did last time. Talking about salty foods while I'm drinking Shake. French fries. <laughs> Do you have no respect, Waffles? Now I'm a cat. <laughs> you look at him just bitch slap that out of your hand. Doesn't make any sense. No. Mouse tails, duck grease. What are you doing, Waffles? Not this again. Can't you see I'm enjoying my milkshake right now? Chief, I'm just sharing a clue with you. I found a grocery list in the secret office. Waffles, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a that's a that's a loaded question, Chief. I can't answer that. No, of course, of course I do, Chief. But that has nothing to do with this this issue. Don't lose your milkshake. It's hard to be a gourmet nowadays. You are disgusting. But you're still drinking your milkshake, Chief. Let's go, Waffles. <laughs> Just throw, throws it behind him. It lands on the corpse. <laughs> uh, sir? Oh, no. Oh, no, Rufus, the reporter, is already on the scene. This cat is suspicious. He always knows more than he should. So what's the first person to arrive at a crime scene? How does he do it? He commits people. the murders and then he shows up. <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> I, I, I don't like to hide. I don't like to lie, guys. Come on. Why, why are the posters on the wall? One looks like Obama and the other one looks like Trump. <laughs> Evening, officers. Is it true that Fluffy has been murdered by a dog? Here will be our statement as soon as we think it's necessary, sir. I didn't hear a no. <laughs> Damn it. C come on. Give my reader something, Patches. We have no idea if the murderer was a dog. Maybe it was a dragon or a unicorn. Who knows? Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit patches, but thanks for the tip anyways. I'm gonna <laughs> cause a race right around dragons and unicorns. <laughs> what? I didn't give you a tip. <laughs> you can give me a tip later. <laughs> <laughs> patches, you've just let slip that we know he was murdered. He hadn't released that information yet. Oh. oh that's true, yeah. That's that. Uh, <laughs> keep that little, uh, slip a secret for the higher up, say, uh, Rufus. Hello? Bosses? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Patch is fucked up. Fuck. 
Waffles, come on. You see that cat over there? That's the witness. Maybe she can help us. Looks like the person has a good tea. <laughs> it's Millie. Okay, okay, that's my car. Can't pay close to Cookie is our current mayor. He is running for re-election. His political opponent is the famous billionaire, Maple. Hmm, I wonder if that has any comparisons to real life. Nah. I'm not interested in politics, but I know Cookie is the favorite. Yeah, should I talk to a reporter or Millie? Millie. Yeah. yeah, let's get some more information. Good evening, miss. I'm Inspector Welf, and this is Chief Patches. We need to ask you some questions. It's nice to meet you, gentle cats. I'm sorry, I'm just too upset to talk right now after what had happened to my dear friend. Doc. Oh, I look like an owl. Doc. This guy just starts assaulting her. It's like, God, not in public, damn it. Do it back at the office. I've started to serve you. I know it's not the best moment to ask you some questions, but. Were you alone when you saw the body? Here's your husband home. Starts grilling her right down the street. Maybe you don't have a husband. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> it's better if I take the leave. No offense, boss, but you're shitty at this. If I go right ahead, I'll just watch to my milk milkshake. Oh, steamy. <laughs> Wait, why is a milkshake steamy? That's disgusting, sir. Thanks. That's darkness. Shh. That's darkness. Millie, and I'm not married, detectives. Oh, so you're for single? <laughs> I mean, she could still be dating somebody, I guess. Ah, dang. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna judge. Judge, <laughs> I have a couple couple of things I want to ask you, Miss Millie. I'll help you as much as I can, Inspector. Neighbor. Did you know the victim? <laughs> yes, he was a kind neighbor. I've never had any problems with him. He used to talk about flowers, cooking, traveling. Sounds like a real boring guy. Sounds like a rich person with too much free time on his hands. So just casual conversation, nothing more serious. Just talking, Inspector. Lies! Oh, I'm sure you have something to prove for wrong waffles. Jesus, man, like... <laughs> She's right here, sir. <laughs> you were... This kitten. I saw a bottle of perfume in the bathroom. That could belong to any lady cat, Inspector. Oh, she is right. You need something more precise. Uh, a love letter. Yep, love letter with M on it. Someone left this love letter in the house. Does it look familiar to you? Inspector, I'm not the only person in Cat Town with the name starting with M. It's not from me. Do you know if Fluffy was in a relationship with someone? Like I said, we had an idle chat. We need to find out who this M is. Yeah, it can't be Maple. Fluffy admirer. Okay, so let's say you have nothing to do with this letter. Who do you think M is? Fluffy well, was single, I think. To be honest, I never saw someone else inside his house. You said you talked about a lot of subjects. But not this one. Fluffy had a lonely life. I don't think he was interested in finding someone. Well, it's Polaroid. Hmm. Yeah. So, how do you explain the lady's perfume in his bathroom? Perfume? Le Petit Chateau Persien, to be more specific. I don't know what you're talking about. Miss Millie, it's time to tell us the truth now. Inspector, I didn't write this letter. It's not my perfume. And I don't remember seeing a lady inside this house. Except you. You went inside the house. Except me, Inspector. You were right. Except that Fluffy was my friend, and I have no reason to kill him. Warm now. What were you doing for the last couple of hours? Nothing special while I was at home watching TV. You didn't want to go out? Hmm? 
<laughs> just getting right in her face. Leans in, licks her nose. No, I'm an indoor cat. The kind of cat who enjoys a quiet night in. Even if it's a beautiful and warm night. Yes, Inspector, and to be honest with you, I prefer chilly nights. Maybe the insult letter? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe. The only thing we have left is grocery list and um, yeah. the hair. Grocery list? Does that make any sense? Hair? Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have anything. Okay. It doesn't seem like we have anything. Hmm. I'll ask later. Hmm. Patchy. He's a good guy, but he doesn't help me a lot. Actually, he's the worst investigator I've ever met. I'll stand that Jesus right to you, Patches. Jesus. You piss off. How you piece of shit! <laughs> How did you become chief? I don't even have enough time to solve that particular mystery. <laughs> okay. Starting right here, you little bastard. You already wasted my shot talking to the group. It's better to keep quiet for now. Everyone tells me I should buy a new car. What's wrong with this one? It runs. It's not fast, but it runs. Mm. Is, there, is there something else to find here? We checked the ball of wool. Did we check the tree at all? Yeah, nothing in the tree to be clickable. Exit, how? There's a box on the front porch. Yeah, not clickable. Fluffy's body we checked. Hmm. Did we? There's gonna, there's gonna be some evidence that shows up uh, that Kent was here. Yes. What about that green one? Yeah, unfortunately, the green one has nothing. Sure. Check the shit! Nope. Door is empty, window. Check. No, all that's fine. Done. What about the light? still plays but doesn't do anything. Nothing in the library. Hmm. Looks like it's some, looks like it's some sort of riddle to do with that with the girl and how we talk to her. What riddle? Well I'm saying like to basically progress we need to figure out what we need to tell Millie. Yeah I know yeah I know uh, well I know Pat just sucks man. <laughs> It's nothing better than talking about how lame your boss is. Oh, wait. It's late, but it's not that cold. Why did it start up? Ooh, there we go. Burning evidence. Oh, you like chili eggs, huh? I think you're full of crap. So why did you start a fire in your house? I... It's really cold inside. You just said you like cold mats. Did you need to burn something important, Miss Millie? What are you implying? Of course not! Fuck. <laughs> Can we have a look at your house, madam? Do you have probable cause? Can I talk to death? You I think not. I think you need to take a seat, officer, because you ain't got a paw to stand on. You just made yourself look very suspicious right now. <laughs> Eat a dick! <laughs> now I don't. Do you have a warrant, Inspector? No, then I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. Well, obviously now we know you're hiding something, so we'll just come back with the warrant. Yeah, we're just gonna pursue you because you were the first person to basically, basically you know, you know, spot him, find him, and everything. So that's probable cause enough. You are well informed about your rights, Miss. Awful. I'll try to get a warrant if it, if I think it's necessary. Right now, you don't have proof that she's related to Fluffy's death. Thanks, Chief. Patches. Shut the fuck up, Millie. <laughs> it's just patches for you, miss. Sir, are you hitting on her? I mean, just keeping my options open. 
You're such a piece of shit, I have to say. That's an interesting way to handle an interrogation, Chief. Did you see the killer? Almost. From my window, I saw someone running in the garden. Someone big. Probably not a cat. Nothing more about him? I don't know. Do you think he had white hair, like this hair's color? No, it was darker, I think. Oh, there, there was more than one killer! This guy in front of Patches is jumping right up. <laughs> There's just a bunch of darks just hopping over a wall. <laughs> Get over! Maybe, maybe not. We can't assume that right now. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Officer, you. Miss Millie, are you sure he was not a cat? I don't know. I'm not sure. I actually didn't see his face. Just a shadow. A big shadow. But now he's on my back. A bigly what? shadow. I was just on my back watching TV. Like just like grabbing stuff out of my belly button. Don't don't ask me these questions. Everything happened so fast. I'm sorry, Inspector. Well, first now you're burning evidence, and now you're just not being helpful. Thanks a lot. No problem, miss. You know what they say. I'm talking to her, her chief. At night, all cats are gray? Except for black cats, they're, they're pretty much in shadows. Thank you, chief, for that terrible analogy. You're welcome, waffles. <laughs> Fluffy's enemies. Do you know if Fluffy had enemies? He owned a company which made a lot of money, so yeah, probably. Any names you could give us? Someone who might have reasons to want Fluffy dead? Not really, sorry. We didn't talk about business. Hey, what about this Irwin? Do you know a cat named Irwin? I don't know him personally, but Fluffy mentioned him once. Irwin is his brother, but they haven't talked to each other for years. Do you, do you have any idea where I could find him? No, sorry. Actually, Fluffy didn't know if his brother was dead and alive. I think dead or alive. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, typo. <laughs> oh. Do you mean dead or alive? Some people say he's dead, some people say he's alive. It depends on your point of view. Yeah, I guess I wasn't a typo. <laughs> I... Don't get it. What's up to get you, Nimrod? Like, some people th think know him and, and he's dead. Some people know him and he's alive. That means, like... like... Chief Patches, I think next time, next case, I should just be on my own. I think so, too. <laughs> what does he look like? He's a black cat. That's all I know. Uh, except that night where he's gray. That's right. Do you think he could be the murderer? Can't say, Inspector. I never met him. Are you burning his body in your chimney? I can't say, Inspector. <laughs> That's all I need to know, Miss. Thank you for your help. And the smell coming from your chimney is smelling extra people -y. Bye, Inspector. And thank you, Patches. You were a real gentleman. <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh, come on. What would that be, Inspector Waffles? That was pretty smooth. He's merely just closes the door. No problem, Miss. Just do my job. <clears throat> See that waffles? I'm gonna get me some pussy tonight. She is a suspect in a murder investigation. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a judge. <laughs> what do you think, waffles? She's definitely cooking somebody in her chimney. That's a, that's a guaranteed fact. I think she's had it something. So do I. Do you think Fluffy was her lover? I can't tell. I'm disappointed. Usually magic happens quickly with you. I ain't a magician. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting old, Chief. Probably. See you tomorrow, Waffles. Have a good night. Uh, okay, then, I guess. Do you have a car, Chief? Because this is my car, and you ain't riding in it. See you tomorrow, Chief. Millie isn't as clean as she pretends to be. She knew the victim very well. But how can I prove it? 
Fluffy, why did he have a hidden office? Where is this Erwin and this unknown cat on the Polaroid? There are a lot of things I can't make sense of right now. Hmm, I need a mouse real bad. Do you know that Maple can save your city because he is a tremendous cat? Oh my ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, who fit a cat inside of my, my radio box? Get out of there, cat! He just starts batting it. Fears <laughs> off the roll. Vote for Mayor Maple. He'll do a great job. I guarantee it. Hey, if he's not gonna make like Maple great again, I'm out. I'm out of voting for him. Politics. What about KFM? Mayor Cookie? Mayor Cookie? He is the best for the city. Mayor Cookie? Mayor Cookie? <laughs> he is your mayor and his paws aren't tiny. And his orange complexion is totally natural. Shouldn't I, he be a hairless cat? <laughs> I miss the days when politics were a bit more serious. Maybe he's just wearing like a fur suit. <laughs> And we have Rufus the Reporter on the fluffy crime scene. Tell us what happened. This cat is everywhere. Fluffy, the famous billionaire, was found dead at his home. Chief Patch confirmed he is murdered. Inspector Waffles will be in charge of the case. He, has the, he was the one who solved the snowball case last year. Like, where did those snowballs come from? Who knew? But he found out. Thanks for bringing that back, Rufus, son of a bitch. Oh, I thought he retired after what happened. Okay, that's enough radio for tonight. I don't need to know about my backstory right now. Oh yeah, thanks for playing. That that was very cool. Yeah, that was really really well done, and I would love to play more of it. I love the visuals of this. I know a lot of people have have criticized the indie market because there's such a uh, explosion of like eight bit style, where the idea is, oh, you know why they do this? Because it's lazy or it's cheap or it's easy. I do think it is cheap and easy, and I don't take that as a negative connotation. In my opinion, it's like, if this was, like, say, three-dimensional, okay? Say it looked as good as the revised, like, 3D model games they've done, like Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Medieval. I don't think that these being three-dimensional models would have actually done anything to in increase my involvement. Because 3D character models really only matters if you're going to, like, utilize a 3D environment. Yeah, and this is, like, really... Like, all you need is, like, like the 2D space for it. And there are, like, detective games that we probably will play in the future that use the 3D environment relatively well from, like, the bits that we see in, like, Black Sad. Like, we're going to be playing, like, a lot of these sort of detective games because that's just sort of, like, my bag and thing. Because, you know, like, cute animals solve mysteries. That, that's just a match Does, made does that mean we could play, like, Batman? Yeah, we just, maybe we'll just superimpose a bat face on him and then it'll be perfect. <laughs> it's, like, photographically realistic bad head in every shot You're just like, oh. I'm the right. oh my god <laughs> but i i thoroughly enjoyed this and i uh we definitely have to like leave a link to them in the description yep oh. so people can know where to find them yep a link in the description will be be to the demo so anyone else can play play the game as well and just give it a taste for them themselves awesome i think i think we both agree we had a fun time so we could wrap it up right here yeah to tune grin and stay tuned for more you know can't miss me. Meow stories. <laughs>